the parish-based A People Gathered and the concurrent priest listening sessions in 1984 and 85 were born out of Bishop Gerber's inquisitive leadership style and his gifts. I think Bishop Gerber was and is such an effective leader because he's so curious. You know, he's just a lifelong student. He, he just, he studies, you know, the Word of God, and the way of God, and he's, he's just so curious about people. He's always studying people, you know, tell me about yourself. And so that, that curiosity and that ability to listen and, and learn always more about both God's ways and people's ways and marry the two. He's very gifted in that regard. The results of those listening programs and the input of parishioners and clergy identified and focused the needs of the diocese and helped determine the direction Bishop Gerber would lead them in the future. And the stewardship program came out of those hearings. And stewardship became the, the, the awe, the engagement of people in this diocese. And the priests were, were supportive of it because they had fed it to us, to the bishop. And the people were supported because they had fed it back. All I had to do was listen, let it resonate within me and feed it back to them and they embraced it. I used to think when he would talk about stewardship sometimes that uh, it was a code word for Christianity in general. Because <laughs> he was really talking about, you know, learning to live your life as a gift for others. The heart of Bishop Gerber is his understanding of stewardship, that everyone has gifts, and so therefore he does not claim to have all the gifts, and so listening to other people to try to draw out what those gifts are is then his invitation to say, would you be willing to share these gifts with building up the wider church? Living life as a gift so the diocese could focus on identified initiatives like youth and adult formation and caring for the elderly and retired priests. It meant moving the entire diocese to a stewardship model. It was something two local parishes had already implemented most successfully at St. Francis of Assisi under Father Thomas McGreed. Father Tom McGreed, who introduced us to stewardship, you know, he always had the three T's, time, talent, and treasure. That's what you have to give in order to live a stewardship way of life. And it changed our lives forever. You can't outgive God. And also, I mean, if we look around, our, our diocese is so blessed. And my children all went through Catholic schools and they got a great education that way. And of course, that was the running of the diocese by Bishop Gerber. So he taught us that, you know, everything we have in this diocese just doesn't happen. People need to help and you pay it forward and then people keep paying it forward and we have a dynamic diocese because of that. He's very committed to Catholic education. He wanted to make sure we had schools where the parishes could provide schools and uh, he wanted to make sure that that education could be provided at no cost to the families as long as we were being formed appropriately again to give out of our need to do so as opposed to giving only to paying tuition if you will. Stewardship is an act of faith. It is not an act of finance. And he had a great trust that God's providence was going to continue to bless us when we shared what God has given us then the generosity of God is never outdone. With full Catholic schools and booming vocations, the fruit of the diocese stewardship way of life under Bishop Gerber was, and still is, a model for the entire country. We are the envy of the diocese in the United States, not because of what we have done, but because of what God has done.